Have you ever been asked to evaluate a speaker at a club? A really good speaker, and thought, but he's been a Toastmaster for eight years, and I've only done four speeches, he's much better than me. Well, have no fear, because I'm gonna help you focus your attention on evaluating and give you some tips tonight and hopefully you will leave here being able to tackle any speaker with confidence and to evaluate effectively. Now there's been a lot of workshops um, by a great Toastmaster, Freddie Daniels, who recently has been going round on a circuit and he's been giving some great evaluation workshops and there's one coming up on the 25th and I recommend if you get a chance to go along to that workshop but hopefully I've got my own recommendations tonight which will help you become a better evaluator first of all what why do we evaluate at Toastmasters? Why, why do you think we evaluate anybody in the audience? Why do we evaluate at Toastmasters? To What's it for? To, to help them improve. To help them improve. For help to help improve the speaker, to lift the speaker, to encourage the speaker, and to motivate the speaker. And by doing all of that. You help improve the speaker. That is a very important part of evaluation. So, when you're first assigned to a speaker, what, what do you, you do? You think, oh, that's easy. Yeah, when I turn up, I'll ask him what it's all about and have a look at the objectives and read them out. What you should be doing is contacting the speaker before the evening and get some information from him or her. And that would be the title of the speech, a little bit of the gist of the speech and what it's about. And most importantly, the objectives of the speech. The objectives of which they're going to work to. So when you've got that information, you can feel a little bit more confident because you're prepared for the evening. When you arrive, you will be required to read out the objectives to the audience. And then you sit and you listen as the speaker delivers their speech. Then what do you do when they're delivering their speech? Listen. We, listen. Yes. And we take notes. Now, obviously, there's a lot of different ways. To make it very easy, all I do is I divide it up into one third, two thirds, and I put the title of the speech at the top, that's all. And in the two third column, you just write down what you enjoyed about the speech, what the speaker did well. And in the one third column, what do we put in there? Things to improve. Precisely, Gordon. What was that, sir? Things to improve. Things to improve. Mm. Very important. A lot of times I see speakers or evaluators come up and say, yeah, it was great, it was awesome, really, it was fantastic. I couldn't think of a recommendation, it was that good. You can always think of a recommendation. They're there. You've just got to look for them. Never take your eyes off the audience, even when you're having a drink. <laughs> I did. So that is very important, the, the recommendation part, because that is where a speaker is going to improve. Always try to find a recommendation. Now, you only have 210 seconds. That's all you've got. Time evaporates like that. So what do you do? You put a lot of writing in the two-thirds column, and you put a little bit in the one third column. Pick out three things that you want to talk about. Three commendations. Three things that you thought they did well. 
Um, I just try to pick out one solid recommendation, one thing that they did well, uh, that I felt that they could improve. So you've got three things that you thought they did well, one where they could improve. Always finish on a high. Always try to look for a good finish and finish with a recommendation, a commendation. So you've got, you've basically got five aspects, three things that you thought they did well, one recommendation for improvement and then finish on a high. And you put all of that together. Now, what I do, I look for, when I'm evaluating someone, the opening of their speech. That is very important. Did it grip the audience? I also look at the finish of a speech, the way they've wrapped it. Did it have an impact? Did it leave a message? Two things you can always talk about and they are loosely put together at times, so you can always use that as a recommendation. Things to avoid when giving an evaluation. Words such as, it was fantastic, I thought that was awesome, it was a great speech, it was the best I've ever heard. And the famous old chestnut, I go, oh, it was hard, it, it was a good speaker. I don't think, I, I can't find a recommendation. Hogwash, you can. Look for it, find one, no matter how small. The speaker will benefit from that. Notes, sometimes. Try to use uplifting words, encouraging, supportive. I felt inspired when you gestured to the ceiling. I was gripped when you came towards me with that axe. <laughs> Your story was mesmerising, it was awesome, it was absorbing, it was gripping. These words are, are, are descriptive, they paint mental pictures, they're also supportive, inspiring, uplifting for the speaker. And lastly, I want to leave this message, and that is that no matter how good that speaker is, he could be a world-class speaker, if you are asked to evaluate him, get up there and evaluate the person. And you can do this by becoming a member of the audience. Just imagine you are a member of the audience and you give your evaluation on what you felt, you saw and you heard. And that speaker will praise you and benefit from what the feedback that he's been given. And lastly, I will finish because I've run out of time. There's one secret which I haven't told you. There's a big secret. Even Freddie Daniels doesn't know this. <laughs> this is written down here. This is the secret to great evaluation. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, <laughs> Madam Toastmaster.